All right, let's get ourselves started over here. We're going to recap on our situation. We are playing as France. We are trying to go for a cultural victory. As such, we are playing on Immortal instead of Deity. We took it one step down just to slightly increase the chance that we could build Wonders. Just because the AI, uh, even on Immortal, has a huge tech advantage to start off with and a massive production bonus, so it's quite hard to sneak in some Wonders. We did get a few in there, um, and plan B for getting Wonders is, you know, declaring wars. I mean, Germany totally started this war. Shut up. Germany totally started this war when they built, like, four or five wonders in their capital. So, we have to go and take them! It's the way we're gonna, we're gonna culture people whether they want it or not. So we did start that war. We've taken Frankfurt, we still have to rename that, so we'll do that in a moo. Uh, we're probably gonna take Magdeburg very soon, and then march on Aachen. Um, and we can't peace out until we take Aachen, because you cannot take someone's capital in peace deal, and we must own Aachen, we have no choice over there. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, the other thing is we need to get the we need to finish up our trade routes over here. We're at five. They are we running? We are running Merchant Republic. That's one of the reasons we have so many uh, trade routes in there. But the other thing we need to do is get like two hundred and something money. How much do we need? Two hundred fifty-five money, so that we can buy this damn oil before the Americans get it. Luckily, one, two, three, four. This is four tiles away. One, two, three, four tiles away from either city. Uh, thank you, Tersh and, and Persian Aurora. We'll take a look at that in a second. It's four tiles away from both American cities, so um, their culture is probably not going to auto spread there too much. And I don't know if the AI will rush the tile the exact same way, but it would be really nice to get. As far as I know, oh, there's going to be some more oil over here, but Sneva, excellent. Is this a tech? Did we just unlock the tech for oil? I think that might be true. Um, so as it turns out, we've got some oil over here. Beautiful. Very, very, very nice luck over here. So we'll have two, which is going to be good for ships. Although if we built up enough of a harbor, we'd only need one oil for certain things. Uh, I want to say thank you very much to Persian Aurora. Nice to see you again. Hey, thanks for all the excellent work. Loved it when they added Persia to Civ and to watch your Persia game. I hope they'll add, uh, I assume you mean Sweden to Civ soon, so I can watch you play my second favorite Civ. Oh, excellent. Uh, they had Sweden Civ 5, right? Yeah, yeah, of course they had Sweden in Civ 5. A very strong Civ, if I recall correctly. Especially in the hands of the AI. There's certain um, Civs that the AI does better with than others. And Tersha coming in just to give Cool Man Fight something to work towards while I'm at work. See you all Saturday. Thank you very much, Tersha. Thank you very much, everyone who supports the channel. Appreciate it very much. All right, let's go ahead and uh, click the next turn. By the way, yeah, there's a beautiful little settler over here. And wouldn't he be nice to snag? Um... We might move the, the pikemen over there to grab that. The thing is, there's not that many places left that we really, really want to plop down a city. I suppose one here wouldn't be terrible just to sort of unite our land, but it's not like it's a big deal. We've got us another settler going north over here. I suppose we'd like to fill in the gaps here. We could always pick up that extra oil as well. So, maybe. But in any case, we've got to go and hit the next turn now. Boop! Oh, and the victory con condition screen. Yes. Chuka chuka chuka. Um, Science-wise, uh, we're doing... It, it's Things are fine. Um, we had a problem. Germany was actually generating a crazy amount of science. Not so much anymore for some reason. Maybe because we're starting to take their cities away. So that's going to be a-okay. I think Germany had a fair number of tourists as well. Uh, but that's one of the reasons we're going to go and take away their wonders. Scorched Earth is done. Okay, well, we'll take a look at our civics in a second to see if we want to make any changes. Before I forget, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the victory conditions. Over here. Score-wise, we are leading just barely over Persia, but it is there. Science-wise, it's too early for anything really exciting to go on. Although there is an unmet player, so things may still happen. Culture-wise, Persia does have more tourists, but again, I think we'll be able to start counting that relatively soon, and we'll see what we can do about it going forward. Domination-wise, Persia, two capitals, China and the unmet player. Both belong to Persia over here, which is scary. I don't think anyone's going to be cruising towards a religious victory. I think we're going to be okay there. So, um, so far, nothing really standing out. We do have to be a little concerned that maybe Persia could do something sort of touristy, but probably we'll be able to span the late game culture some more. The big question will be, will we be able to stack enough tourism modifiers um, to be able to... Uh, get the tourism victory in relatively decent speed. If we, we've done a little bit of warring, people aren't going to like us, they're going to keep denouncing us, they might not be willing to do open borders and so on and so forth, and that might be unfortunate. Okay, government-wise, we're not going to change our government type. Uh, going back to monarchy would be bad and, un and make people unhappy, so we don't want to do that. Um, conscription is still fine to save money, I think. Uh, Rationalism Grand Opera seem like pretty strong picks for us. We're starting to get a lot of these buildings, so I'm sure these are giving us a fair amount of science and culture at this point. 
Um, I don't think we want Raj because we actually lost suzerainship over Planquay at the start of the video uh, and everything today. So uh, probably Merchant Confederation is still a fine way to get a few extra bucks, and I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm, I'm hiding the, the screen slightly. Um, Public Works, are we producing builders? One very slowly. No. Do we want to sub out of Public Works? Maybe get more great people points? Or just more money? I hear triangular trade is pretty good. And especially if we can get ourselves up to 8 trade routes. I mean, that's an extra 32 gold. Taint bad. On the other hand, great people points are kind of important for our our victory here. I just say national identity. Which one is national identity? Units. Oh, less yeah, less less reduction for being injured. I'm not really worried about that. We're kind of kicking ass in the war. So yeah, I think we can live without national identity. I think the question is more: Do we get triangular trade, or do we get? Um, Either the literary tradition for great rider points, or maybe even adventure for engineers. And I think it's six and one half dozen or the other. I don't think either pick is wrong by any substantial amount. So I think we're going to go with the trade. We can go for some money. We want to buy some more of those tiles. Um, money makes the world go round in Civ or in real life, so I think it's going to be okay. Hey, cool man! Terje, now we are even. I didn't sign up for a tip war. <laughs> May you have a nice and warm uh, quill and Terje. Maybe nice and warm day? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, thank you very much, cool man. Cheers. Um, now, Reformed Church doesn't lead to anything, right? That's the reason I don't tend to prioritize too much. Is it going to lock anything that's really useful? Not really. I mean, it's quite a fast little research right now, but all it's going to do by unlocking this is it's going to increase the cost of building districts. So I may chill out on there, which means I guess we have to take urbanization, which is okay, because I think we actually want to start building some neighborhoods now. So it's a-okay. Ah, more envoys. Um, well, I think what we're going to do then is we'll probably get Palenque back over here. Just, just to say, so we've got suzerainship over them again. Um, other than that, maybe we'll go ahead and get our sixth one in Nanmadal to get another plus two culture in all our theater squares. That seems like a relatively good idea. Boom. It's not like someone else was in charge of playing Quay, we just didn't have them. And the last thing I want them to do is flip over to Germany, because that would be kind of a little bit on the awkward side. So, we don't want to do that. Promotion, housing needs, yep, that's A-okay. Did you say that no money will make the world flat? It'll make the world stop spinning, is what it'll do. Where'd that settler go? Oh, he's hiding back inside German territory. I'm kind of okay with that, actually. So, uh, you do have a promotion. You got hit. Let's see here. Well, I guess you're going to move here regardless. The question becomes, do we move the artillery up or do we rest it again? And it'd be kind of nice to have some hot air balloons. Um, we might want to prioritize getting one out here. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to build it, but plus one range on the artillery would be pretty good. Especially to help it bombard down Aachen. Now, one thing we can do, if we move the pikemen up to right here, we should get the siege, the under siege penalty to, to Magdeburg, so it can't heal up. Not that it's really been a thing. So I guess I'll move you here. I'll shoot there. I'll shoot there. You get the double shot. You get the double shot. So good! This cannon here... If we upgrade you, I mean, suppression would actually help with some of that siege stuff, but I think what we do is we just take the bonus on defending against city attacks, I think is the best way to do it. Um, we could just shoot now, but I think I'll just chill here, that's going to be okay, because it's not like we're about to knock down the walls. We've got our religious units hanging out over here, uh, hoping that someone will one day murder them so that we can get some relics. It's an odd strategy, but it works. So I guess I will rest the artillery corps one more turn. I don't think we're going to melee attack the city. I think that would be ill-advised. You need flight. You don't have it yet. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't have the ability to build balloons. Not even 99 red balloons. Flygeta over here. We don't have boost. You need to build a wonder for that. Yeah, so it'll be okay. So we'll just heal this. and It's probably going to be healed enough now to move up and take a shot. Although, honestly, the field cannons are doing a perfectly good job. So he wants to peace out real bad. The problem is we need his capital. We cannot peace without his capital. 
rename the city. We'll probably, uh, this should probably wait until we've taken over everything, then we'll rename them all in bulk here. Not to be confused with in bulk, the pagan holiday. In bulk. Boom. Boom. Um, do I have the promotion where I can move and shoot on this thing? No, I think that's rank three, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we do. So, you know what? Move, then shoot. You're healthy enough, and if we get lucky enough, we take down the walls. We don't have to worry about being shot some more, which is great. I suspect attacking the city with our face is still a silly thing, so we'll probably wait until next round to do that. He will heal hit points because we don't have the city actually surrounded here, but that's okay. Uh, new trade route done. So, probably we want the trade routes to come out of here so we can accelerate the Eiffel Tower since it's one of our best wonders. I'm just saying. Uh, we don't have any missions for international trade routes, do we? No. So, yeah. I, we're just going to sort by production. Frankfurt's quite good as long as it's safe. And actually, this will be a perfectly safe route, so I think we're going to go for it. He's moved the settler back again. You. Uh, cancel. You might go after that settler. We'll see. <clears throat> no religious unit. No religious unit. Boo. We still haven't heard you sing 99 Luft Balloons. You said you would multiple times if you still haven't. When would I have said that? That's crazy talk. Fake news. Actually, that sounds like the sort of thing I would say for lots of different reasons. But, um... I don't think so. Boop. Capture the settler. Excellent. So let's go ahead and smoosh the city. A whole bunch. And attack. Decisive victory. Ah! Boost towards industrialization, which is what? Three workshops or something like that? So we clearly took a city with some decent stuff. Um, all the way up to a power plant. Fantastic. That's the other thing. By attacking someone who's uh, technologically advanced and has a 40%, well, on, on Immortal, I think it's like 33% production bonus, you get a whole bunch of kick-ass buildings in cities as you take them over. Glorious. Yes, of course, we're going to keep the city. And yeah, we'll wait until we take Aachen before we rename, rename things. Uh, well, I missed a tip from Harmonium first, uh, who says, Hey, Quill, thanks for the endless hours of entertainment. Any chance we could get the previous week's episodes of Civs on YouTube before the Wednesday stream? I, I do often try, but my schedule is stupid and I'm incompetent, so that's always the hope. So I apologize for that ha not having happened more consistently. And Java Jawa with a huge tip coming in. Thank you so much. Uh... To the tune of Nina Simone's Feeling Good. Oh, it's a new month, it's a new stream, it's an old game for us, and I'm feeling good. I know, see? This is why I don't do singing stuff. <laughs> you people. Ah, uh, Java Jawa, thank you so much for that. Such generous support. I saw you say a comment about the tip somewhere in the chat there. But, uh, cheers and thank you. Man, oh man. Focus! What are we doing here? Oh, it's Magdeburg! Um, let's repair the water mill because it's a quick little job and it'll help us with the production and the food over here and I think that's going to be a good idea. Sure. And then we'll probably build a monument after that. Another trade route over here. Um, I don't think we need to pump the Venetian arsenal anymore. It's possible this trade route would shave one, day, one turn off of uh, this job. And it might make all the difference, and I would really love the Venetian Arsenal because it's powerful, but I think what we have to do is we have to, hey, 69, uh, prioritize finishing the Eiffel Tower a little bit faster. So I'm actually going to send the trade route over there after all. Um, the order of these two units landing was not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, you just chill there, buddy. That was a little bit closer than I would like. Um, so you're done. So I guess we march on the city. Do we want to take out the encampment first? I think the answer is yes, even though it's kind of annoying, because I think it would be... Well, it's not that bad. No, we can mostly siege down the city without bothering with the encampment, right? We should be able to just blow it up from the north. Yeah, that's going to be fine. So it'd be great if we can do some more uh, pillaging over there. Wouldn't that be lovely? I think it would be lovely. Field cannon. Oh, yes, we are building over here. Boom, boom. Avignon. Okay. Now that we're settling, let's go ahead and do the rename now. We've got three cities to rename. Do, 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 open the file. Uh, 
There we go. I love Google Docs, but it is not the fastest. There we go. So, we're going to have... Our new city over here is going to be... Christy W. Christy U. Go away, map pin. Then, Frankfurt becomes... Excellent name. Mike the Noodle. And Magdeburg, which I always feel bad because I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it anywhere close to the proper one, is going to become El Super Beardo. I think we've named the city after you before, and it's always so exciting. You sound like a superhero, man. It's excellent. Who dat? Oh, it's Cool Man again. Thank you very much, Cool Man. I got a banana and orange bread. I make sandwich out of them with fish and garlic salt on fish. Also, this is C. Thank you very much. Banana and orange bread with fish? That sounds lovely. This is my this sounds lovely face. Uh, let's start with the monument here right away so we can expand those borders. Uh, oh, these units are stacked. Um... I'm a little concerned. Okay, it's going to let me go to the next turn. So I was going to say, I can't move that unit, so I'm worried that we might have soft-locked game, but no, it's going to let me go forward. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. What's that? Jakarta's declared war on Cyrus. Okay. I'd love to go and snag that, but I think it's going to slow down our conquest. Oh, we can claim a great person. Excellent. Who who can you claim? Oh, great musician! Boom! Lovely. You can't faith buy anyone, right? No. Okay. Way too expensive. Um. Archaeology? Archaeology. Because we might not be able to guarantee that many great people, but at least we can dig up some, some dinosaur bones. Or whatever. May as well rest the artillery in place for one more level. Uh, and the field cannon core is uh, is going to go here and just just end up out of range. So you're going to chill. You'll chill to heal. You will come over here and plunder. You'll you'll take a shot of bombard, but that's okay because we don't need the uh, the melee units there right away. Uh, another trade unit, and I mean we could have the trade units come out of CTG because it produces our military stuff, but and I think that's what why it was there before, but we're not under a production like rush for our military units anymore. All right, what do we do with the settler? Probably put it over here, right? And probably on the coast just for the the slightly more housing bonus since it doesn't have a river on like Christy W here. I mean, unless we send more things across the way. Oh, Lisbon is there. Did we know about that? No, we knew about that. It's, uh... Where are we sending our units? There's, like, that island. Oh, it's down here. We could drop a couple of cities down here. We might actually want to do that. First of all, you. Blow the that guy. Excellent. I think that might be what we do. So here we're going to go for high production and send it to our capital of Brussels. Yep. It's the last one that gives plus three production, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, can you reach that? Mm, not quite, but you can get pretty close. And I don't think we can do anything with our musician quite yet. Nope, we can't do anything with the musician quite yet. Uh, so I'm just going to teleport him over to Brussels and have him chill over there for a little while. Uh, Brussels is working on the Bolshoi Theater, which actually might be the thing to rush with some... Uh, um... Oh! Oh! Oh, we have enough money! Because I was just thinking I could buy a trade route, but no! We want to buy the oil. Very important. Um, uh, this We might be able to rush this with trade units, is what I was going to say. The Bolshoi Theater is really good for us. And would give us music slots. That's sort of where my brain was going. Uh, so I suspect we might go and plop a second city down here. So I'm going to get you to move in that direction. Cheers. Ba -ba -ba, Quill being more expensive than usual, is that okay? I am being more expansive than usual. With culture, I think it matters a little bit more. Um, to pump out just a little bit more culture and have more room for the um, seaside resorts or whatever they're called, which are pretty substantial. Uh, WS Trust, thank you very much for the tip. Here's to you, Quill. Well, cheers, here's to you. I know it's not you know something from the whiskey and chocolate fund, but... 
Zach Upon. Thank you very much as well. Where's the Get Quilt in Norway fun button? An Australian here waiting to share a beer if you ever make it. I love your work and keep up. You're an Australian in Norway. That's cool. And yeah, I've never, never been. I want to. It came so close one time. No religious units here, right? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, we are going to Great Work Heist. This is the guy with the escape thing. Like, no, nah, it's still probably worth doing the gain sources. Plus, you get XP from that, right? I mean, I don't know how far away we are from another promotion, but... What the hey? Hmm. When trying to for a non-military victory, you have to be more military aggressive because reasons. Well, I mean, you know, if you want peace, prepare for war is an actual expression that people have to say. It's different if you're playing on a lower difficulty. On a lower difficulty, you can whatever, do whatever you want and be pacifist. On the higher difficulties, not so much. Sorry, buddy, I can't peace out with you until I have your capital. It's just the way it's gotta be. Tonight, we dine, we dine in Aachen. All right, we got the city. Uh, we'll queue up some more repair stuff. That's fine. Uh, Watermill for the production first. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. El Super Beardo will get you to drop down uh, just Monument for now. I guess that's going to be fine. Then Granary, then work on your temple. Then we can Faith by the Synagogue after that. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, you can go here. I don't know if you can be bombarded from the encampment through the mountain. Let's gamble on no. I don't know if that's true, but we're gonna we're gonna gamble on it. Musketman Court, you chill. Uh, you're gonna come up over here, and then apparently do nothing. Uh, you are going to. This is madness. So we're going to send you there. You're going to improve the quarry over here, which is actually shaving another turn off Baker's production. That's nice to see. So you pillage that thing. You got bombed by that. So we're just going to have you step back by one and then just fortify until healed. That's going to be a okay. All right. We can bring in two of these things to start fighting, firing on Aachen, which is going to be fine. Again, here we're sorting in a gamble. Uh, that will have line of sight probably. So, whoops, that is a mistake. You're actually coming over here, and you can still shoot. And in fact, because that mechanic is really buggy, we can double shoot with both of those, which is lovely. You're going to come over here, plunder a trade route, giving us some more dough. Musician, I'm just going to park you... Um, I guess we could park you on a theater square, if I could remember where the hell I've got one. What is this one? That's an industrial zone. That's not this, is it? Ah, yes it is. Okay. So you just chill there. That's going to be fine. We're going to move up with the field canon. Find the barbarian encampment. All right, you just sit on top of that. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, religious unit! Fight, fight, fight the apostle! Okay, just sit here. We want our unit to die. We want their them to keep healing up and do whatever. Because if our apostles die, they all have martyrs because we have the most Saint-Michel. So exciting! That's chat. You guys good? Pass through them through domination. It does make plenty of sense. We'll, peace will reign when there's no one else alive to fight us. Bad move, buying the oil. Now America will have to invade. <laughs> and the CB will be that we have weapons of mass destruction. It would be really funny if there was extra, extra stuff in there, but... Alright, so we get walked, whomped by the city, but not too badly at all, which is great and lovely to see. Our artillery will be able to move up and fire. It might get whomped by the um, encampment, but we can always pull back after that. You're gonna shoot. Um, you're gonna move up. Ooh. Shit, you can get double whomped here. Okay, you know what? You're just going to... Oh, you can't pillage right away. Oh, shit. Forgot this would be in range of this. Because I was like, if the city hits him, it's fine. I can just eat the the wheat, like the farm, to heal. But not so much. It's probably going to be fine. Okay, one took all their double shots. Yes, good. Excellent. What is... What is this? <gasps> Did we know they had the Hanging Gardens? 
What mods do you use besides CQUI? No, nothing at all. Only CQUI, which just changes the interface. Pre-Revenue over here has completed an art museum. That is lovely. You can actually start on another district, which we should do just to lock in the cost. See, you're unhappy with the amenities. Is it because of war? It War rariness is part of it. It still might not be a bad idea to work on a... Oh, you were working on an entertainment complex nearby. So there's going to be some overlapping bonus over here. Still, the overlapping bonus is only, what, plus one amenity, so it's not that much. We might still want one over here. Plus, it could potentially overlap with some other stuff. But I don't know, that doesn't seem quite as strong. Maybe an industrial zone right here. Because these are obviously all going to get mined. Because you can't do anything else with Desert Hills. Because, I mean, Desert Hills are terrible. It's it's really too bad there's not a wonder that could give you a buff to Desert Hills and make them really useful. It's a shame nothing like that exists. Now, we could put it down here now, which would be interesting. It would get plus two, because it's got the double district, one from the quarry... And then it'll get one extra from a mine over here, leading to a plus three. Now, over here, it would be plus four with all the mines, but they don't all exist yet. On the other hand, I can fit a chateau over here. I think we're going to put on this tile, because the desert tile is useless. It does nothing. So, we're going to do that, just to lock in the cost. We're not going to build... The, Hermitage is something we'd want... But that's quite expensive, like, time-wise here. Um, we'll see if we can build it somewhere else, although we need uh, river tiles for that, so we'll see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on a trader here first. You're almost but not quite healed. There's no reason to send you to the front quite yet, although the city's getting bombarded pretty fast. But we do have a pikeman there to potentially take the city. So we'll just fortify you up there. That's going to be fine. We're going to send you to do the, the tobacco, although... So see that point, Pip? Right? Um, boom. Uh, we'll be able to clear this, right? Yeah, ranged units can still clear out barbarian encampments. You chill. So we're going to do this. He has healed up. He stayed in place. He's in or adjacent to a religious site. Therefore, he can heal, which is great. So we're going to suicide. Oh, it's so sad, you guys. We lost an apostle. Oh, the humanity. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, we just have this cool-ass relic to show off from the fact that we lost this this apostle. Oh, what a, what a shame. What a shame. Also, this work of uh, writing should be moved into an amphitheater somewhere. Um, so there it is, right there. Do we have any more work for relics? Yes, this, and we have the wild card at the palace, so we're A-OK. -okay. We probably want to get another apostle over here, though. Because we've got space for an extra relic. Can we faith buy someone? Uh, we need, we need, uh, the religious buildings to be able to do that. Um, I suppose that could be CTG, which I know has the religious sites. Yeah. Excellent. I'm so sad. Aren't we all heartbroken? <laughs> pay, I have to pay respects to the relic. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, WACS Trust sent in a tip as well to say, considering restoring funds, here's the Get Quilt of Manchester fund. Well, I mean, I, you guys know I love spending time in the UK. And I mean, normally I go because we're visiting something in Scotland and things like that. But essentially, I really want to cruise around the UK in general. The whole, the whole uck, the whole, the whole GB and everything a lot more. And uh, getting to Manchester would be cool. I hear you guys are like pretty big fans of, of some kind of football, maybe more than one football team simultaneously. And maybe there's something that could be taken in there at some point. We'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm, because apparently I am now. Oh, sorry, she almost made me spit out my coke. Quill equals greatest actor of all Wednesday. <laughs> I love it. So if we do this, we are going to suffer a minor defeat. Excellent. 